Hi, this is Deadman. If you're watching this video, I assume you're old enough to see gore, violence, swearing, and general adult content. If you aren't old enough, come back with some ID. Or a fake one. That's the route? It is now. Jesus, when did this happen? <laughs> when Ulter got involved. The clothing coming? After Hughes was killed in that bombing of yours, Ulter picked up the pieces. Now they're everywhere. On TV, on billboards, in stores. Hell, if you ever forget who Walter is, just look towards Saints Row and you'll see that fucking eyesore. Here we are. We're gonna find the other Saints. Huh. What other Saints? What you talking about? Without anyone to lead them, the Saints fell apart. Once the Brotherhood, Ronan and Samdi showed up, the few that were left dropped their flags before they got killed. Oh, that's fucking great. How's the patient? Seeing as they're still breathing after being caught in a massive explosion, I'd say pretty good. Somehow we ended up surviving being completely exploded in the face, and you know what? I love it. Ridiculous shit like this is why I love the Saints Row franchise. There's never a time when it takes itself too seriously to just have fun. But I'm about to take the bandages off. Being exploded beyond recognition is a great way to have to recreate Playa. These gangs have no idea who they're dealing with. So I just learned this particular voice goes to Robin Atkin Downs, and I'm shocked I never knew that. Come on, I just got myself shanked so I could get a chance to talk to you. Doesn't that show I'm loyal? It shows that you're dumb enough to let yourself get stabbed. I mean, play it is right, but still gotta win loyalty. I'd say machine gunning off the back of a boat is a hell of a way to end a prison break. That's the row? It is now. Jesus, when did this happen? <laughs> when Ulter got involved. The clothing coming? After Hughes was killed in that bombing of yours, Ulter picked up the pieces. Now they're everywhere. On TV, on billboards, in stores. Hell, if you ever forget who Ulter is, just look towards Saints Row and you'll see that fucking eyesore. They leave town for a couple of decades and they change everything. I like the mission over screen with an icon representing the gang slash mission you just did. In the resulting trial, Gat was convicted of one count of attempted murder and a staggering 387 counts of first degree murder, promptly sending him to death row. Damn, Gat's got one hell of a scoreboard. Hey, Barry, turn this shit off! Yeah, I was watching that. I guess you're not anymore, are you, bitch? Could you turn the TV back? Mr. Gat, you've been convicted of over 300 murders. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. There's no statute of limitations for murder! Eh, it was worth a shot. Shit. About time your burnt ass woke up. You okay, Johnny? Yeah, aside from almost getting sent to the chair, I'm fucking great. Hey, you look different. You do something with your hair? Johnny, I don't care if you just broke out of jail. You do not mess with my furniture. Oh my god, it's you. Surprised, Aisha. What, that you're here or that you're talking? Pick one. Gotta love all the meta jokes. Head over to the old mission house. We should be able to set up shop there. Why don't we just set up shop at the church? Altoy's renovated it and turned it into a tourist trap. Those evil bastards. So, what you think? It's kind of a shithole. True that. But it's a shithole with potential. Looking on the positive side of things. You know, this ain't exactly what I had in mind for my day. Now oh, we gotta clean this place out. Yo, I'm not a fucking janitor. No shit, you're a goddamn diva. Playa and Gat just casually burning bodies and cleaning up is darkly hilarious, and I may need help. Come on, this is the kind of shit people who just got canonized should have to do. Good idea. We'll just ask some of the crew for help. Hey, buddy, wanna help? No? Looks like we're doing this ourselves. If I don't kill someone soon, I'm gonna forget how. I guess it's just like riding a bike. A very bloody bike. All right, everybody listen up. We got some serious shit to discuss. The Saints used to own Stillwater. And it seems like the only motherfuckers that remember that is me and Gat. I think it's time to give those other crews a wake up call. <laughs> Motivational speech. Thank God you're here. Every second we're talking is one more second of airtime that Zach Johnson is stealing from me. Who? You know, that nut job lawyer who gets hard at the idea of a lawsuit. Lately, he's been crusading against media he deems to be offensive. Does he have a lot of support? Not really, but the guy makes a big enough ass out of himself that whenever he pulls some stunt, people listen. And if people are watching him, 
They're not watching me. So what do you want me to do? Get out there and give me something worth covering. The more damage you do, the longer I can do a live broadcast. So what's this business proposal you mentioned? You know, a woman getting ahead in the medical field is an uphill battle. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, I may be a bad host, but I don't think I can change the way an entire profession thinks about Jen. If I get in the brilliant book of world records for most patients served, I think that would send a message that women are just as proficient, if not more so, than their male counterparts. All right. Where are you going? Uh, you said you were planning on treating more patients, so I figured you wanted me to hurt some people. Oh, God, no. Surgery takes a lot of time. I need you to fake multiple injuries so I can treat you faster than I normally could. Doesn't cheating to get a world record kind of undercut your point? Eh, I'll live. Just checking. So tell me about the project. Well, we're looking to do a follow-up to our blockbuster documentary, Skeeters on Fire, which really captured the youth market. What I'm imagining is something edgy, something urban, something I like to call bangers on fire. See, it's about- I'm in. Really? Huh. Well, most people have some questions about the safety of the- I just want to light stuff on fire. Don't have to sell me. Honesty. So, trailblazing is one of the new activities, and basically, as you can see, you just roll around on an ATV while it's on fire, and make as many explosions as humanly possible. I would also like to point out that the sheer ridiculousness of this actually makes your frame rate chug, and I find that hilarious. Physical protection for my clients, and financial protection for yourself. What do you mean? The entertainment industry and gangs go hand in hand. Remember when those bikers worked security at Altamont? Worked out then, and this'll work out now. I got a lot of talent that's getting ready to walk the red carpet, and I want to make sure no crazy fans hurt my investment. Let's not put anyone in body bags here, but roughing up a couple tweens is fine by me. Getting paid to be a bodyguard and chuck people into tables sounds like fun enough work. I've been trying to sell real estate in this area for a month, but no one's buying because the property value's too high. What do you want me to do about it? My cousin runs a septic company. I figured you could borrow one of his trucks, drive around the area, and, well, you know. You really think people are going to want to buy houses if the area is covered in shit? It's really hard to find cheap housing in Stillwater. Okay, this side activity is probably the most hilarious out of the bunch, with you literally painting houses with shit. Anyway, I was wondering if you could run the same insurance scam with me. Didn't you just say Gonzalez got thrown in jail? Why would you want to try the same thing? How about you worry about throwing yourself in front of cars, and I worry about not getting arrested? Lynn, I... I miss you. Oh wow, they actually did a callback to the first Saints Row. I'm just surprised since the plot could barely be called as such. Still a nice touch though. Oh, that's sweet, Donny. I miss you too. Oh, shit. You haven't seen me since your boss shot and stuffed me in the trunk of a car, and the best you can give me is oh shit. I mean, yeah. What else were you expecting? Mero, who's gonna fix my car? Good thing Donny must be a halfway decent mechanic since it just saved his ass. Why are we meeting on the hill? I wanted to get out of the goddamn sewer. Why are you looking away? In case you're, you know, being followed. This isn't a goddamn spy movie, Carlos. Could you turn around? Carlos is understandably paranoid, but it's still funny nonetheless. I think that could have went better, don't you agree, Carlos? Yes. Getting exploded out of a chopper definitely falls in the could have gone better category. Baby? Putting nuclear waste into Mare's tattoo ink is simultaneously brutal as hell and hilarious. <laughs> Mercy Krillin. It really was the only option for poor Carlos. I'm gonna kill you right here, right now. No, you're not. What's this? Do me a favor. When you check the trunk, just remember you should have offered me something better than 20%. Hey, Carlos. 
So yeah, play is a bit of a sociopath, putting Marrow's girlfriend in the trunk and making him crush her. I guess the lesson here is don't fuck with the saints. Fuck you! I'm driving, we gonna listen to whatever the hell I want! House rules, Sammy. Driver picks the music. Shotgun shuts his cake hole. I've been looking all over for you. We got a serious... Damn, those are some nice shoes. A good pair of shoes will have that effect. Your bargaining posture needs some work. The Saints killed my girlfriend and crippled my best friend. And that's unfortunate, but Old Tor is a business and there's no profit in revenge. Don't worry about the door, though. That one's on me. Fine. You want money? In a few days, a shipment's coming in. Mr. Marrow, nebulous shipment or not, I think I made myself quite... Let's try this again. You're gonna help me destroy the Saints. And Old Tor would love to be of service. Negotiation skills. Mr. Vogel, Mr. See you. Thanks for the heads up, Jamie. I was listening in on the police scanner, and the Coast Guard is reporting a lot of Brotherhood are coming towards you. You sure? Yeah, pretty sure she's sure. Damn, how mad do you have to be to chuck a whole ass minigun? Any last words? Go to hell. Sorry, didn't catch that. What's up with the dollhouse? Dollhouse my ass. This is how we gonna fuck up the Ronin. Hey man, don't knock a miniature version of your game plan. And when that happens, we only have about 45 seconds before the backup generator turns on. During the blackout, yo, yo, yo. though. Hold up, man. I mean, I love the dream house you built here and everything. But what if we just start here, walk into the casino, and just shoot all the motherfuckers that are between us and the money? Well, you know. It will be a lot faster. And a lot more fun. Yeah, but. Fuck it. Let's go. Good call, Johnny. I feel so bad for Pierce. He tries so hard, but always gets overrided. Why is there a big pile of money on the coffee table? It's a little complicated. We shot up a Ronin casino and stole the cash. Well, maybe not complicated as much as hella illegal. Got something you want to tell me? Go to hell. That wasn't very nice. Johnny, I just bought that table! <gasps> Sorry about that. Johnny, it's a Wow, that was really brutal and artistic. I'm legitimately surprised. Gat is a badass. What the hell are we listening to? That was my music. Too bad it sucked. When you run the Saints, you can listen to whatever the hell you want. But right now, I'm in charge of the radio. Don't you ever touch a black man's radio, boy? You can do that in China, but you can get your ass killed out here, man. Remember, no rush. Brutal. Sup? How badly do you want the man who hurt Johnny Gat? Who is this? Junichi will be at Kanto tonight. This is our chance for revenge. Our chance? Who the fuck are you? Helpful hints. Even if your tipster remains anonymous. Die with some honor. Being honorable. It's an interesting change of pace actually having to time your swings just right for the sword fighting. I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to ask you to return to the waiting room. Doc said I should be up and murdering in a couple of days. Well, you know, he didn't say murdering, but you get the idea. Having to escort Gat out of the hospital and fighting off Ronins is definitely interesting. You know, you could have brought flowers instead of a gang of people trying to kill me. Nah, flowers aren't nearly as fun. However, turning a hospital into a charnel house is something that even I can't spin. You need to keep your men under control. My English must not be as good as I thought it was. It sounded like you were giving me an order. That is hilariously direct. Fuck off, Akuji. I'm not killing anyone at Isha's funeral. Tonight, tomorrow, you name a time and I will gladly fuck you up. But not now. How noble. <laughs> Nobility is sorely overrated. Wow, that's pretty shit, dude. You could at least let the man grieve in peace. Where are you taking me? Let me go! Get up. Get up. Get up. 
not so fun when you're fighting someone who isn't tied to a chair, is it? Brutal comeuppance. Brutal. No, please. No. Kill me, but don't do this. Just kill me, damn it. Don't do this. I think the lesson here is don't piss off Johnny Gat. Yeah, the literal burger truck gets a win. Bumped into an old buddy of yours who was looking for you. Who is it? You can see for yourself in a few minutes. You brought him here? How do you know this asshole isn't trying to kill me? Please, I would never kill my favorite assassin. Mr. Wong. This guy used to have me running around killing guys in hot dog suits. I would love to see that. Akuji and I have a long history. I have also had several unpleasant dealings with his son. What did Shogo do? When he was younger, he killed Mr. Wong's dog. You fucking kidding me? I do not joke about Sadie. Chinese John Wick? One of my girls at Technically Legal called me up and said that a Ronin bachelor party was getting too touchy-feely. The bouncers have all been paid not to do dick. So if anyone is going to teach those assholes a lesson, it's going to have to be you. Chivalry lessons? Yeah, let's just call it that. I do love that the final fight with the head of the Ronin is a katana duel instead of a shootout. Hey, I got you a present. A light bulb. Just what I always wanted. Come on, you think I'd just give you a light bulb? A face shredder. Just what I always wanted. Ever hear of a pipe? Pipes cost money. Money that can be used for drugs or shoes. Financial advice? How much stuff are we talking? I don't know, three pounds? Two for science, one for the weekend? That's weirdly honest. Hey, Shandy, I rigged up that bomb you want. Oh. Um, you should probably hurry. That is not a good way to start a mission. Where is the generator? It's not like they gave me a tour of the place when I was in a coma. So you're sure you can figure out what's in the sun stuff? Don't worry, sweetie. When it comes to drugs or snickerdoodles, I'm the best. Having a diverse portfolio. Well, seeing as they're turning out so much product, they'd need a... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. What's up? I... In college, I dated this guy who would sell for the Suns, and he mentioned that they used to grow all their shit on a farm off campus. And this is coming up for the first time. Why? I forgot. You're right. You are an idiot. In Shandi's defense, she probably lost the brain cells from years of who knows how many drugs. It's a miracle she remembered in the first place. It's no burning down the pop fields from Far Cry 3, but I do get to ride in a chopper shooting a big ass gun. Veteran child, you will go kill this Shandi. If you fail to do this, Mr. Sunshine will burn you alive. Does this sound fair? Uh. Excellent. Let's be on our way. Considering the alternative, I guess that's fair. You're not Seeing as I'm gonna kill you in a few seconds, I don't really give a shit. Yeah, a little prick called me and told me where to find him. Oh, either it's a trap or he's just a fucking idiot. Accurate. Wakey, wakey. That is not something you want to wake up to. This is a bad time to be fucked up. Why is the rum always gone? Oh. That's why. You know, there could be some more guys looking for you. Uh, you could take them, right? Probably not. Yeah, that's, that's good. Fucking lightweights. Excuse me, princess. Pierce, I put you in charge of the Ronin. What more do you want? I can do more to help. Do you know how the Sons of Samdi are still moving product after we torch their farm and drug labs? No. Then shut the fuck up. Why you gotta be like that? I'm just saying, don't bitch unless you got a solution. You all will go and steal the drugs from the saints. Are you fucking crazy? They'll kill us all. Perhaps. But if they don't, you will be taken care of for quite some time. We... we get to keep what we take? Oh, yes. Motivation. Hate this standing around shit. Why can't something exciting happen? You guys 
Looks like you're gonna get your wish. I'm coming too. No. This is total bullshit. You can't just cut me out of the loop. I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's one of the perks of running a game. Accurate. This could be going better. Here's the plan. Pierce and Shandy, I want the two of you to hit the streets and take out as much Altor property as you can. If Altor wants to come after us, fine. But we're gonna make it fucking cost them. Gat, you and I are gonna hit the pyramid. What, we don't get to blow shit up in public? Fine. We can do some damage streets, huh? but we've gotta be quick. I don't wanna give Altor any more of a heads up than we have to. <laughs> Gat has a one-track mind, and that's always hilarious. When you budgeted funds for Force Majeure, we didn't realize compromising the pyramid was what you had in mind. We're dealing with violent criminals. Are you really surprised they might do something, I don't know, violent? He's got a point. We've had enough of your ego. My ego is what got you this far. I am the one who knocks. Don't you care who sent it? Nope. But it's probably a trap. Yep. Player's complete disregard for the traps is just great. He walks in, fucks shit up, and walks out. As most of you know, the Ultor board of directors were assassinated the other night, and while we at Ultor would like to take the time to mourn their passing, sadly that's a luxury we don't have. Right. I'm sure you had nothing to do with that either. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. some real action hero shit. But you have to look at the positives. You're alive, they're dead, and you have the Saints' number one fan running ultra- That is also action hero shit. This is our city. We do whatever the fuck we want to. That's certainly a better way to end the game than getting blown up. You look different, did you? I didn't do shit to my hair. Meta jokes that play is tired of hearing. You pulling a gun on me? Well, I didn't have time to plant a bomb in the church, so this'll have to do. Jesus Christ, you sound like a pussy. I sound like someone who's not a sociopath. Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! You owe me, player. If it weren't for me, you would have died on that street corner. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been in a goddamn coma. But I guess that makes us even... Not really. Damn, I somehow always forget how dark Saints Row can get. Overall, Saints Row 2 had a lot more going for it than the first one. Not only does Playa say more than two lines, as a matter of fact, he never shuts up, but there's actual character building for everyone. I mean, everyone's terrible, but there's still character building. Like with the first one, I don't have a lot to say over the game other than it's a fun play, uh, especially with the dumb shenanigans that the characters get into. I'd say it's worth even more of a playthrough than the first, but that's personal taste. A bunch of things like the way you can earn respect and how much customization you give your character was changed for the better. It is, in every sense of the word, a perfect sequel. Thank you for watching, and try not to die out there. Believe me, right now I am agreeing with you 100%, but you have to look at the positives. You're alive, they're dead, and you have the Saints' number one fan running old- I'm here to ask you one question, and one question only. EXPLOSIONS!